Hello Internet, it's Alex and Louie from Barefaced and we have some cabs down here with some cool speakers in them. So, this has a red back in it which is a 150 watt heavy magnet, kind of a rock guitar yeah. speaker. It's chunky. It's chunky. It's, it's, we, we're, we've, we're discovering that it's a really, really good speaker for all sorts of rock and heavier things without it being kind of stuck in the world of metal or stuck oh, in yeah. kind of vintage rock, it kind of... I was just playing some funk for it, it's, like, it's quite versatile. Yeah. It, it travels a lot, it's, it's... It's good. Yeah, it's really cool. Anyway, you'll hear in a second. This here is a custom special. This is going to be heading off to... Malaysia? Malaysia. Yeah. This has a vintage EVM-12L, so that's a 200 watt speaker yeah. with the biggest magnet known to man it's, on the back of it. It's so heavy. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not that bad once it's in there. No, it's no, just no. It's a bit confusing the in a relative itself. sense. <laughs> no, it's a beast of a speaker. It's, yeah. um, Zach Wild has his own signature one, so you can guess it can get heavy, but it's it's very clean and... Yeah, yeah the internet cool. seems to love them. This, they cost a fortune. Um, but they're probably worth it if it's your sound. Yeah, I mean, so I don't I mean, go for it. I've heard a lot about them, so... A very, very expensive speaker is still as cheap as a cheap guitar. This is true. Yeah. Um, that's got a Neo 250 copper back in it, which is a very clean, clear speaker. It's very light. Very, very light. Neo very magnet. loud. Um, I feel it's a bit like that, but tilted more towards the highs and less to the lows. And then this over here is a BM12300S, which we're liking for heavy guitar sounds. It's actually technically a bass speaker, but it is. it's cool. So yeah, lots of power handling, all yeah. in a very light cabs. I'm going to try them with the igniter and various sounds and pedals. And Louis playing... My telly. Yeah. It's not a real telly. It's not an Ermon Humbuckers. Actually, it is actually... A Telecaster made by Fender, so it's allowed to be called a Telecaster. Yeah, it, cle it cleans up. It does country. <laughs> right, right. We might not be doing any country. No. So... I'll use our automatic <laughs> CGI. There we are. All right. And oh, let's let's start on the red back, all the way to the left, and see what we hear. All right. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, before even before we put the Neo in earlier, the, the first three we had was like these sound more different than any com comparisons I think we've done so far. They're all very different. The it's complicated. This. Yeah, the Neo sounds exactly like I thought it would. Wait, I've got it. The gain on the amp on the clean set, and it is at about three or so. So it does have a. Yeah, it's breaking up when you push it. There yeah. is a breakup, but like that that cleaned up the Neo. I thought that went like took a bit of that hair off, which I expected, because it tends to. It's quite a DI sounding thing, that, I, I, I think, personally. What it's were you fascinating, hearing? this. That's amazing, that EV, not. If you're new here, um, I'll just wave one of the other cabs around here so you can see it. This is, uh, this is our 10 inch model, but um, they've got this patented magic in the back, which basically takes the sound off the back of the driver uh, gets the lows to combine in phase, so you get a sort of thicker, chunkier, bigger sound out of a smaller cab, and then the highs 
it diffracts them, sp spreads them round, and inevitably, unless you're in the middle of a field, they get back round to you and your bandmates, so you hear it better. So for miking it, so you can hear what it sounds like in the room, we're not sticking a mic close up on the cab, because that you just hear what the speaker sounds like. Mm -hmm. And if anyone demos that, you're only hearing what the mic on the speaker in that position sounds like. We're trying to get the whole room sound because speakers don't produce the same sound in all directions or in the, in the same amounts. And then with a cab like this, we're getting sound off the front and sound off the back. And then because you're in a room, I think normally in many situations, something like 80% of what you hear is reverberated sound. Refractions and yeah, yeah, so it's, and, your, and your brain sort of sticks it all together. So, with the far mic, we've got the mic on the camera for the talking, but again, that's we've got a road mounted on top of it, and then we've got a large diaphragm condenser down here, so that's about six foot from the cabs, and yeah. they're all roughly on act, pointing on axis with it, so you get to hear what they sound like here rather than just hearing what an SM57 pointed at a specific point on a cone sounds like. Yeah, we're not recording. Albums. Should we put some more dirt through? Yeah, exactly. Because everything becomes more clear with more dirt. Um. All right. What are we on? We are on the red back. Yeah, let's start on the red back. <coughs> Confusing. Why are you confused? <laughs> right, well, this is. <laughs> that sounds just quite wild. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It's, it's, <laughs> it's so strange sounding. It's really thick yes. in the mid range, isn't it? It's chunky. And it's not got a lot of top. No. It's not really. And it sounds most like that. It does, yeah. Why is that confusing to you? I guess I was expecting it. Hmm. I was expecting it to be more honest, and I don't think it's as clean and clear as no. history claims. Everything I've read online says it's got more top end than everything, more low end than everything, so it's it's a even across the lot and you get extended highs, extended yeah. lows, and I don't it doesn't and sound like I've that to played me. It and gone, sounds great, but it's cool. It's not that thing. No. I think but maybe that, because the EVM twelve L is it's kind of part of the EVPA speaker family from the 1970s, if you look back at the old data sheets and stuff like that. Right. So, it's a bit like a mid-bass driver. Sure. And a mid-bass PA driver is like a lot of bass guitar drivers. Right. Not like the ones we make. Yeah. Um, and the BN12300S is a good example of a yeah. bass guitar driver that is in the same sort of family as mid-bass drivers. So they're, they're pretty even through the mids, pretty clean. They go low enough, but not low like a subwoofer, and they don't go that high. Whilst so this off. speaker over here, can, you, can we see it? Right yes. away. There we go. There we are. That's our 12XN. <laughs> that isn't like that. No, that that's all the way. That's cleaner through the, the mids than those, flatter, but the highs go higher and the lows go lower, and it moves easily twice as much air. So that's a different animal and would be... Well, it's not beyond the realms of possibility to put one in a guitar cab, but it would be a bit of... It'd be a waste of all that excursion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying that, Buzz from Melvin's uses two of those oh, yeah. in each of his cabs. He quite low, though, no? Yeah, they're heavy and stuff. So, yeah, it's not, not beyond the realms of possibility if you want the mother of all bass guitar drivers yeah. in your guitar cab. It would 
possibly fit. No, probably mm -hmm. be a custom machine. But anyway, um, the Neo 250 Copperback. Yeah, is better than I thought. Better? You, you, you expected not to like it? Well, we we Th that thing is few with them, and we liked we. It seems to be a bit. Um, some people love it, some people hate it. It's yeah. clean, isn't it? it does, it's clean me, and it goes high and it's tight in the lows. I love it, but it, I'd only use it for one thing. Are yeah. you in it at the moment? Are we on number three or number four? Uh, no, I'm sticking on it now. If we go single coil in the middle, it's just perfect. Oh. Like, it's the best. It's amazing, but then with like humbuckers and dirt, uh, I don't know. Oh, it's actually quite good at that. That's really rather good. I tell a lie. A funny thing about this, so this is this has got custom Tolex and, and cloth, which you know um, doesn't affect how much it weighs. But look. Oh yeah, that thing's silly light. I mean, that's my little finger. I mean, admittedly, it's a bass player's left-hand little finger, <laughs> so it's probably stronger than a normal human being's, but. Even so, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's a yes. 250 watt speaker um, with a Neo magnet. Um, that's great. That's really I, bloody good. I didn't expect that at all from that. We've, we've got some customers who think that's the best thing ever. Really? And I see why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should try one out. But I'm a bit <laughs> of recommending it to people yeah. who don't know it already or haven't done a lot of research because. It's it is a very specific animal, and what it's not going to do is soften any edges and prettify your tone because it's so honest. But I don't know, it's the more. Oh, but you're. Well, I don't know, that's kind of. Let's go between that and the red back because the red back, I feel, yeah. as we've discovered in other videos, is like the. So the cream back M is very popular, the M65 cream back. That is. Because it's. It's like a hot rodded greenback. It's warm and fat. It's nice. It's got softness to it. Doesn't break up so early though. No, that's a real the greenback H, the H seventy five, is much more aggro. Yeah, it sort of comes at you. It's got more top. Yeah. Um, the red back mm. is more even than either of them and goes higher. It's got more high end and it's got more low end, but it's not scooped sounding like some no. of the more like a, a G twelve K one hundred, which is sort of <laughs> The '80s metal speakers. So I, I think the red back is a is an underrated gem. It's great. Um, but let's, let's, let's go between the red back and the copper back because they're two fantastic high power speakers. Yeah, me too. Cliche alert. Creamy and warm. Sure. I mean, they are quite similar. They're very similar, but they're But that differences. adds a certain warmth. Yep. Slight blur in it. There's detail. There's so much detail with the Neo 250 Comp back. Yep. 
That's why I went to the detail, blues thing in the end. Detail, clarity. It, yeah, you got control over your sound quite a lot. Bite. It's, it's a bit great. Right. It's ruthless. It is. Oh, you don't want to make any mistakes. What, when I'm playing, I will say it's. It's yeah. I was kind of like, oh god, where is that going to like? Loudness cover your wise, basically the same. Yeah, I think. Which is so that's one fifty and that's two fifty. Yeah, I mean the power handling's both just very high, so you don't need yeah, to worry so about that. That's got the biggest ceramic magnet that Celestian used, so that's why the efficiency is high. Yeah, and that's got a neo magnet, which is. A big magnet for the speaker for this yeah. very powerful magnet. So they're great. I really like those. Now Can we, we get a, go chunkier. Can we make some a heavier sound? Uh... <laughs> They're really good at that, aren't they? Again, thicker, mm -hmm. tighter, clearer. Same it almost feels like that's moved forward in the mix. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that because it's got more bite. Yeah. Okay, so now let's try. Keep that. Let's keep that sound on because that's heavy. Sounds quite cool. Let's try the EVM with or just on its own. Yeah, do it. Yeah. <laughs> sound in driver I've ever played through. <laughs> it's cool isn't it's it? It's really cool but you know you're playing through it there's no like I wonder which driver that is like, no. it's, it's the EVM yeah it's not what I thought it would sound like at all it's awesome are we, are we in that at the moment I just want to do like we a, are not we what can be. I would do if I had that driver <laughs> I thought it would sound like doing that either. I expected a kind of sparkle to it, which it just doesn't have. I mean, it sounds like I've the top rolled ends off all a, my time. But... The top end's a bit more like some of the Alnico ones, isn't it? The way it's got that. It is. That's like the gold. That's like a bridge. Yeah. yeah. But that doesn't sound like bridge pickup on a telly, admittedly, humbuckers, but still. And the neck, full, still full volume, full tone. It's, it's that thing, isn't it? Yeah. Clapton. Oh, like an old grip back then. So. Yeah, a bit. Interesting. Yeah, that is wild. No top end. Uh, I, I think it's, it's like, it's that rolling off at sort of 4K rather than 6K thing. And I don't think it's got a big breakup peak. Even but it's got a big, big dust cap, which tends to. Does it? Yeah, so depending on the mass of the dust cap. 
Yeah. That's going to change. And, and how resonant and hard the dust cap is, so some are more damp than others, so some produce yeah. quite a lot of output because of the way they sort of resonate where they're sitting in the middle of the cone. I'm going to take the bass off and then, mid and then like crank the treble. <laughs> That's crazy. It's nice. It'd be really nice for some old school rhythm stuff, I think. Yeah, but that would be cool for that, some of the old stacks like rhythm. I mean, what I'm hearing, because I don't know if, um, yeah, let's just move that. We're going quite in on this because ah. we don't have it for too long. Yeah, no, it's so heavy, isn't it? Come on. <laughs> there we are, I can do one finger, but not, not but a struggle. Yeah, only my... Ah! Did that hurt? Ow! That's your weakest finger, don't use that one. Yeah. That's light as well, <laughs> yeah. So is the BN, actually, to be fair. And that's another very light driver, because that's a Neo Magnet. And this one over here is just normal, this is a normal chunky... God! I mean, it doesn't really matter that much in the scheme of things, unless you're properly like public transporting and long walks to gigs, at which point London, even the lightest guitar cab starts to feel really heavy and annoying. At that point you just got to suck it up and do it. My mate who plays bass lives in London, he drags a super twin on the tube. Yeah. <laughs> so like, if you're going to do it, you're just going to... It's a bit of a struggle, but any of these are going to be vastly easier than the yeah. most. We should wind up there before we go on for too long and the camera runs out of battery, but one thing I just thought I'd mention whilst we're here. Um, so this is our... Reformer. This is our standard 12-inch cab, but you can also have a Usurper, which is our wider 12-inch mm -hmm. cab, or it's a 210. Oh, yeah. um, we can also do it as a vertical, which is sort of Mutiny 112, no one's tried yep. that yet. Um, we can do a super wide 112 if you want something that sits under a Marshall. Can do. It looks good, but is a 112 to get the output down, but you can have the power handling high with you know some of these big power drivers. Yeah. But also we've got this little one here, which is the upsetter, which is normally a 110, but we discovered, with a bit of creativity, oh, yeah. we can fit a 12 in there if it's one of the Neo 12s. So the BN12 300S and the Neo 250 Copperback both fit in this tiny cab. Obviously it's not a straight swap, we build it. Does that fit, does it? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, well, I thought it was just the 250 Copperback. No, any of the Neos fit. Oh, that's amazing. Hey, do you know, know. I have... I have hurt my hand yeah, don't, don't do don't that do again. That. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so if you want something that sounds really very similar to these... Yeah, good point. Yeah, but even smaller and lighter, there you go, gigging with, weapon. With that tiny head, you can carry that on the tube, no yeah. worries. Guitar or, back. you could do something else with an active module, but more to come. More to come. Later, on that front. So thank you, we will do more on this. We've just been a bit busy making things, designing things. It's been a busy time. It's been a bit hectic, so thank you. Let us know what you'd like to hear more of, and we are mm. Alex and Louis from Barefaced. Goodbye. <laughs>